This is CounterPoint, and I'm Tanya Granik allen We've got lots to cover on today's current events panel. We'll start with the Ukraine-Canada free trade deal and why the Conservatives felt compelled to stall it. We'll cover Calgary's mayor opting out of the menorah lighting ceremony and why that happened. We'll discuss the new military mandate to provide menstrual products and kits in men's bathrooms. Toronto is also considering banning cell phones in schools and immigrants. Is Canada no longer desirable with our high cost of living? Are immigrants being turned away? Are people now leaving Canada? Lots to go through and join me now is Mike Patton, political commentator, and Michelle Samard, lawyer, privacy and cybersecurity specialist. Thank you both for joining me. Uh, let's jump right in. I said I'd start with the Calgary mayor drama and, and we're going to start with that. Do you want to start us off, Michelle? Yes. Yeah, so, um, so what happened, basically? OK, well, uh, just given the topic of events, I, I think that everything we're talking about today is uh, political, uh, starting with the mayor. So the mayor decided to pull out. And, and for me personally, uh, you know, I try to be as objective as I can. But I, I sit there and say, you've done it. Everyone's done it for like for the last 35 years. So why opt out now? Her, okay, and to give and just to give some context, so we're talking about the annual menorah lighting ceremony uh, that yes. happens, and she's participated many, many years. And for those who are unfamiliar, the menorah is um, is the candle lighting ceremony. It's it's the the it holds the candles during Hanukkah, which is the annual Jewish event for for the Jews. So it's it's a symbolic. It's, it's a it happens everywhere in every city, all around. It's just it's just something that it's like putting up a Christmas tree. It's just what happens. Yes, and, and for me, uh, she bowed out this time, uh, stating that um, she wasn't aware that when they were doing it this year, it was about uh, pro-Israel. And, you know, I understand that uh, many uh, people who are in uh, political positions try to be, how can we say this? I, I think, Mike, you'll, you're, you're chirping here. But how can we say this? Trying to be politically correct. But I'm sitting there going like, I hear your point and I understand what you're saying, but this is not a new thing. It's been done every year. It only makes a difference this year because of the Israel Hamas war. So my point is this, don't bow out. Um, even if they say pro-Israel and that's her excuse for bowing out, don't bow out because at the end of the day, if there is an, uh, a Muslim thing, um, are you going to bow out too, saying, oh, it's, uh, uh, I can't do it because uh, I can offend other people? Everything's about political and how they can get votes. And for me, at this particular point, I'm sitting there going like, mm -hmm. this is a Jewish holiday that's been celebrated all the time. So just do it because it's important to people and political figures make a difference. Michael, Mike, you agree? Well, it's, it's very interesting watching politicians contort themselves and twist themselves to try to be on every side conceivable of the, the conflict that's going on right now in the Middle East. You know, the reality is that there's nothing controversial about Hanukkah. It's the Festival of Lights. It celebrates a, a great miracle. And it is really the lighting of the menorah in Calgary is for the residents of Calgary, the Jewish residents of Calgary. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a political statement supporting one side or another in the, in the exactly. conflict in the Middle East. So, but at the same time, politicians who have no principles don't want to look like they're on any side of this conflict, while at the same time trying to look like they're on every side of the conflict. They want to appeal to, to both sides, and they don't want to offend anybody. And, and she panicked a little bit, I think, and said, oh, will this look like I'm pro-Israel? And, you know, just ended up looking a fool, I think. Shame on her. Shame on her. Okay, but let's play devil's yeah, advocate for a moment. Again, as you said, as you said, you wouldn't, it is not political to attend a Muslim Eid event. Why would it be political to to attend a Hanukkah event? It shouldn't be. But let me, let me just challenge that for a second. So in her own words, she said it's because it was like a stand with Israel event. It had been kind of rebranded in her opinion. <clears throat> so, you know, you, you mentioned that these are political events. The Hanukkah lighting ceremony is not a political event. However, if it was promoted as a we stand with Israel, is that not perceived as being a political stance? And would the mayor not attending not be perceived? Again, I'm playing devil's advocate here, Michael. You have 10 seconds. Well, 
you're, you're not wrong in the sense that what do you do if you attend the, the lighting of the menorah and people speak uh, about being one with Israel and supporting you the Israeli Mike, Sorry, I'm gonna, we're going to pick this up right after the break. I came right up against the commercial break. My apologies.